Smart Money Concepts is all the blaze right now, and rightfully so. With Forex, this is an approach that accurately discovers what direction price is moving in and where it might go to next. The most important principle that all of Smart Money Concepts sits upon is that the biggest players who move the markets are banks and institutions, and because of their large order sizes, you can figure out where they like to put their buy and sell orders and then go and trade off of those zones. Therefore, smart money in this case includes banks and institutions. When people talk about smart money concepts, they are referring to the concepts, tools, and methods that this style of trading uses in order to trade alongside those banks and institutions. While smart money concept trading educators may have different strategies for using this style of trading, there are some core concepts that you'll hear about no matter who you learn from. In this video, I want to cover seven main smart money concepts that you'll hear about in nearly every course about this approach. Here I'll give you a very basic overview of what these concepts are, but if you would like to learn an easy, completely rules-based strategy to trade these concepts on the smaller time frames and grow your account or pass your next prop funding challenge, then please head over to the Discipline FX website and check out my scalping course where you can learn this approach in only two hours or less. Okay, let's get started. The first concept is market structure. Market structure includes the breakouts and pullbacks as price trends up, trends down, or gets into a range. When we draw market structure correctly, we can have a picture of what the market is currently doing and track where smart money is moving. Drawing market structure is often the most subjective smart money concept that is taught around the Forex education world, but as I teach in the course, it is possible to have crystal clear rules for how to appropriately draw market structure. If you watch countless number of market structure videos and still don't understand how to draw your charts accurately, then it's because you're not using clear rules. You're just picking subjective areas. I recommend using an approach that makes market structure absolutely clear. Otherwise, you're going to get tripped up in your trading. Next is the concept of trend trading. It's important to know about trends and how to identify trends, as well as when a trend has ended and price is reversing. People who use smart money concepts are not biased as to a bull or bear market, but they will follow the trend no matter which direction it takes, and it's also possible to capture counter trends as well. In this way, smart money concepts encourages trading with the flow. The third smart money concept is that of liquidity. When someone wants to buy at a certain price, there has to be a seller present to take the other side of the trade. The availability of orders is known as liquidity. Kind of like how people say they want to keep their money liquid in a market account, which means that they can access their cash almost instantly versus keeping a money in property like real estate, which isn't liquid and will take some time to sell. The market will move to places where there is liquidity, where there are orders available. The big players can also manipulate the market to entice people to offer that liquidity, and we'll touch on that soon. Next, the fourth concept is that of key levels and order blocks. These are two different types of areas where smart money is going to want to move to in order to get the prices that they like best. Depending on who you talk to, sometimes these are the same thing and sometimes they're different. But most of the time, key levels, order blocks, and points of interest are really all just the same areas, which describe the price at which big institutions want to buy or sell, based on evidence of them having bought or sold from those areas in the past. Keep in mind that smart money likes to buy cheap at areas of demand and then sell high at areas of supply, which helps us segue to this next concept, which is that of identifying premium versus discount areas. When a seller sets an order at a high price, this is known as selling at a premium. When a buyer buys at a low price, this is known as buying at a discount. Using a Fibonacci tool on a trend you, at the 50% retracement zone, you can easily find these areas to know whether a certain price or a certain area has a high probability of being an order block zone or if it's too risky to trade. The sixth concept is that of fake breakouts and manipulation. 
If you've been trading Forex for a while, you might have noticed that especially with trend trading or trading price patterns, banks can trick traders into thinking that a trend is starting or ending when really it's about to go into the exact opposite direction. This helps the banks trick us into providing liquidity so that they can get the order prices that they like. This trickery is known as manipulation, it happens the most around news events, and it's important to have set rules for knowing where there are fake outs versus valid breakouts, as well as whether there are fake or valid pullbacks. You should be able to include this in your drawing a market structure. Again, I invite you to check out the Discipline FX Scalping course to get a better idea of how to trade this style with very strict rules and strict guidelines for drawing structure instead of relying on guesswork. Lastly, we'll use one more trading concept that isn't necessarily exclusive to smart money concepts, but is highly beneficial to smart money concept traders, and that's multiple time frame analysis. I like to use 15 minute, 5 minute, and 1 minute charts to get an understanding of structure on each of these levels and take trades based off of the key levels and order blocks available on each one. This helps me to keep really tight stop losses on the 5 minute or 1 minute chart, but then I can aim for really big return trades off of the 5 minute or 15 minute chart. So to summarize, these are the 7 core concepts that you'll find in almost every course on smart money concepts. They're the backbone of this style of trading, and when you deeply understand how to use these conceptual devices, you can easily trade with the banks and institutions as they move from demand to supply and back from supply to demand. It doesn't need to be a complicated style of trading, but it can be highly lucrative. I hope this list helped you get a better idea of what smart money concepts are and what you should look for when you're trying to find better educational tools for trading this approach. Thank you so much for watching, and I wish you all nothing but the best of strength and luck. Take care.